whispers that there is physical evidence of the existence of these objects that might tell us what they are. Do you believe that's true? I do believe it's true. Uh, and I, I think we, uh, that we, we should be, be looking at this, and I think we should be more transparent with the American people. And the last thing we need to do is, is lie to the American people. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, Tucker, from my perspective, you know, that, that type of position where you continue to, to lie to the American people and obfuscate is the reasons why people like me decide one day to run for Congress. And, and I can tell you, the last thing DOD wants right now is someone like me in Congress. Um, but that's what happens when you're not when you're not when you're not honest and open and fair with people. You you know you you get what you pay for. Amen. I agree with that completely. Do you, uh, is there debris? Do you believe from any of these vehicles, whatever they are? Tucker, you know the, the United States government is in possession of of exotic material, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, more analysis needs to be done. Um, there's enough uniqueness about it where where it demands additional analysis, additional expertise, and and thankfully there are pockets in the U.S. government that are willing to have the conversation and conduct the analysis. I'm not going to say those right now what those elements are, uh, because I'm I'm worried, frankly, for the for the same type of reprisal that that I'm facing currently. Uh, but uh, but there are pockets of, of people that are willing to do the right thing, and, and fortunately, these individuals are are uh, are patriotic and and willing to to do the job. Amen. It's all so crazy and amazing. Lou Elizondo, thank you so much. I will see you again.